I was always smaller than all the other kids all throughout elementary school. But it wasn't till fourth grade where I really noticed that there'd be all these tall kids and then me. And in those pictures, I looked like I was years younger than all the kids. We're both you know, very concerned about that. We watched him very closely. Uh, we were very protective of him. We knew that we had to do something. Every parent wants their child to measure up, whether in school, in sports, or in level of maturity. A parent's desire is for their child to at least be equal to the level of their peers. But what if your child doesn't measure up in stature? You worry about your child. You want to find out, is there something you can do? In children, there is often a feeling of anxiety about their small stature and slow growth. Often, they are teased, bullied, and it may be damaging for their sense of self-esteem. Some of the kids tried to get up in my face and make fun of it more and be like, yeah, you have a condition and there's nothing you can do about it. it. Made me feel a little embarrassed and sad. The frustration is often compounded when parents are not sure what causes their child's growth failure or what to do about it. It depends on the etiology. Some of those particular patients could be treated, so the diagnosis is very important what is the cause of growth disorder and some specific treatment could be implemented. This is why the Human Growth Foundation was established in 1965. So no family travels this path alone. It is the oldest and largest nonprofit of its kind. With parents and friends of children and adults with growth problems, physicians and other healthcare professionals. The Human Growth Foundation has been an, an excellent source of support and assistance for us. I'm about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> we have three missions. We focus on research, education, and patient advocacy. We have an educational committee who writes booklets about the different disorders that are related to growth. They're written in a way that parents can fully understand the medical aspect of what their child is going through. We also have an internet support list on our website, one for the parents of children and one for adults. I had an excellent endocrinologist. She was the one who recommended HGF. Those are the things that matter to me. Recognized as a global leader in endocrine care and advocacy, the Human Growth Foundation offers a wide range of workshops for parents. It's a great educational experience and it helps all levels of all parents to understand what's going on. The organization works to keep physicians and other healthcare providers abreast of the latest developments with dedicated workshops across the country and even overseas. Without Human Growth Foundation helping us to get together once a year, we're not able to collaborate and share ideas and thoughts and approaches. You guys ready to get your walk on? The Human Growth Foundation brings the community together with family fun events and calls on the aid of Hollywood celebrities to increase awareness of growth disorders and the importance of early diagnosis and treatment. Helping people is a passion of mine and it's just really an honor for me to be able to give back. And while the Human Growth Foundation is making a difference, in the lives of those impacted by growth disorders and growth hormone deficiency, it needs you, the community, to be a part of this growing solution. If you can donate, please do so. We need your help. Helping people is good. This is the one gift that keeps on growing.